Expecting domestic air passenger traffic to return to the pre-COVID-19 level by the financial year 2022-23 and international by 2023-24, rating agency ICRA said there could be a delay in the commercialization of expanded capacity by 9 to 12 months. ICRA also said the cargo volumes are likely to grow around 36% in 2021-22 and 6% in 2022-23 after a 25% contraction this fiscal, reaching pre-COVID-19 levels in 2021-22. The Reserve Bank of India on Monday said India's economic activity is gaining momentum on COVID-19 vaccination rollout and decrease in infections, but private investment is missing. The vaccination program has released pent-up optimism and there is little doubt today that a recovery based on a revival of consumption is underway. Sale of passenger vehicles posted a strong 23% growth in February at more than 3 lakh units. 308,605 units to be exact over the last year as the industry put to rest the ghost of the pandemic. This is only the second time industry volumes have crossed the mark and is only a shade lower than the all-time tally of 3,10,294 units logged in October last year. This is only the second time industry volumes have crossed the mark and is only a shade lower than the all-time tally of 3,10,294 units logged in October last year. The new chief of the World Trade Organization urged its member states yesterday to work with pharmaceutical companies to license more COVID-19 vaccine manufacturing in developing countries in order to triple global production. Okonjo Aiwila, the WTO's first female and first African Director General, said that companies must be encouraged to open up and license more viable manufacturing sites now in developing countries. Ace investor Rakesh Chunjunwala believes that Tesla CEO Elon Musk is a true pioneer and entrepreneur. However, he wasn't sure about his electric vehicle company's valuation. According to the billionaire stock market investor, the market capitalization of Tesla is not going to last and is not linked to the entrepreneurial capabilities of Musk. The MCAP of Tesla breached $800 billion in January 2021 for the first time, making Musk the world's richest person briefly. A Chinese state-backed hacking group has in recent weeks targeted the IT systems of two Indian vaccine makers whose coronavirus shots are being used in the country's immunization campaign, cyber intelligence firm Cypherma told Reuters. Cypherma, based in Singapore and Tokyo, said Chinese hacking group APT10, also known as Stone Panda, had identified gaps and vulnerabilities in the IT infrastructure and supply chain software of Bharat Biotech and the Serum Institute of India. China's foreign ministry did not reply to a request for comment.